Yeah, I am, man. Especially in the opposite jersey. Uh, it's been a long fall, like you said. Clemson, a great team. Watch a little tape on him. I'm excited to play him. Uh, great quarterback, great offensive scheme. Yes, yeah, Michael, over here too, right? Do you feel like this tra transition to, to Jack and this position change has been a little bit overblown for you? I feel like you still have kind of the same responsibilities. Coach Smart laid it out as if nothing's really changed for you, just with some additional roles. Yeah, kind of exactly that. Like, ain't really too much change. I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little bit of stuff different. It's really kind of the same thing, though. So. I guess the natural follow up to that is, is, what is different? How has your role changed um, over the last eight nine months? No, nah, I wouldn't really say it changed. I say I just say a little bit. I do a little bit more on first and second nine. I say. John Jackson, obviously, uh, uh, relatively new to the return of football, played in middle school, you know, coming back to it now in college. What have you seen from the big six foot ten offensive tackle? Exactly that, man. Huge. He, uh, he got extremely long arms. He has the he has the athleticism in his body, so he he definitely has the talent to to be something uh, with hard work and dedication. Obviously, you weren't here yet to have played in that 21 game against Clemson, but what what is your uh, kind of feeling on that program as a rival being just 73 miles up the road, and how much of uh, how much juice does that provide for you know this this game in particular? Now, Clemson is a great opponent. It definitely provides like a level of excitement given their history, especially over the last 10 years. They won multiple national championships, and uh, with Devo Sweeney being a great coach, you know they're going to be a well coached group. They're going to be physical. Uh, they got Matt Luke, the uh, opposite line coach. And I know he loves that counter. <laughs> and they are physical. And I, I expect them to be physical. Okay. What does a successful season look like for you? And do you have any personal goals? Uh, winning the next championship. That's my goal. That's, that's really, that's really, I want to win another one back. So that's, that's really what I'm focused on this year. Is there one guy flying under the radar that we, we might not see in practice who, if we ask you at the end of the year, you could say, yeah, Mike Hale called it week one that he was going to have a, a breakout season? It's, it's too many guys to name like that. We got, man, we talent. I ain't gonna lie. We got talent all over the field. And it's especially, uh, we got a good group of young guys that's going to that's gonna be able to help us. Okay, what did you see from Christian Miller during this fall camp? Uh, this is probably the best camp I've seen uh, Christian have. He uh, he worked hard every day. He came in with the right mindset just to get better and grow. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited for him for this year. Yeah, similarly, Joseph Jordan coming in, similar build to you ish. How have you seen him develop and how Jordan's trying to go that wrong so quickly? Yeah, Joseph's going to be a special player. Uh, I feel like with time and, 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 and he continues to work hard how he has, man, he's going to be a real special player. He got great talent, great size, great great strength, and he's gonna help us. Uh, you were able to spend some time with Carson uh, in, I guess, Dallas at the SEC media days. You probably see him all around the locker room. How would you describe just his disposition, his personality with teammates? Yeah, Carson's a great guy. He's a real team guy. He's a real leader in our locker room, and uh, he's a great guy to, to hang with, to chill, and talk with. Do you talk any trash on the field at all? <laughs> uh, ain't, nah, I'm just nah, he not. <laughs> yeah, no. Just uh, practicing against the offense, um, which of the running backs would you say is the hardest to bring down at or behind the line scrimmage? You know, we're so tired in that running back room. All of them, all of them are. How they um, like, think about them. Like, even if one of them got good cuts, one of them got good power, one of them just sideline, sideline, sideline pass. Like, all of them are hard to bring down. Just so you guys are going back to the bins. You've played there a few times. Yes, just sir. how do you feel about playing uh, in that building? Is, is there any advantage to having played in the lot? I mean, it's in Atlanta, so I feel like uh, we always have a great turnout when we play in the bins. And uh, I just I like Mercedes Benz. I like the stadium. I like, I like playing there. Uh, our fans show up and show out. So I feel like we had that advantage. Yeah, what have you seen from uh, Monroe Freeling during his time here, and uh, you know, especially going into year two as an offensive tackle here for Georgia? Yeah, Monroe, he's growing as a player for sure. He's, uh, he's definitely uh, a great player, and uh, he, can, he can definitely help us.
ago, you had talked about uh, Kid Clubnik earlier, said you, know, you thought he was a great player. What is it about him? You see on tape, stands out about his game. How slippery he is. Uh, he, he finds his way out of pocket a lot. He just stands plays. Uh, I noticed that about Kay. He, he's slipping. He's hard right now. Yeah, last time you guys played Clemson, that's you weren't here yet, but defense makes a big statement in that game. What do you want to have people say about this defense coming out of this first game against Clemson? We're physical. We all here, I'll compete and I'll hustle. Uh, that's something we hang our hat on. I hope that people can see that and what we do Saturday. Okay, what do you see in film off of Clemson's running back? Just their entire rushing attack. No, he's talented. Yeah, no, Phil Muffa, he's a great back. He's patient. Uh, he, he runs hard. Uh, he's strong. He's like 230, I think, like 6'1, 230. He's a solid back. Yeah. Okay, I'll probably. Uh, last week, I think it was that Carson uh, and Malachi kind of gave you guys some, some guests. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how, how cool that, what does that mean when, when some of your team leaders you know, do something like that to the guys? Man, that's dope, man. Everybody can, everybody can listen to their own music in peace now. That, uh, <laughs> now, they blessed us with the beats and they had a nice design on there. We really enjoyed it and we, we liked it. I think it's safe to say no one can fill Brock's shoes, but what are you seeing from Oscar just growing as a leader and is he thinking he's ready to, to fill that void that we'll be needing in this offense? Yeah, for sure. This whole offseason, I've been noticing Oscar like take like steps to be more of a leader, more vocal, and just even like with his actions just in the weight room and how he sprints and just how he moves at practice. So I've definitely seen uh, Dev taking that steps. Any more questions from Michael? All right, Michael, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Michael. Michael.